picked these up yesterday, the Nike Vaporfly 4%. I did a test run yesterday, go check the vlog out, my first run, bought them in a store, which I've heard that it's really hard to find these now in stores, and they're not on Amazon, so I'm very grateful that I have a pair of these. Basically, I started researching these shoes about two, three weeks ago when Kipchoge from Kenya set the world record in the marathon in these shoes I just this past month. I remember, I'm a long, I've been running for 20 years. I remember, look at this guys, this proves I've been running for a long time. When Haile Geber Selassie ran a 203.59 marathon world record. He is from uh, Ethiopia, and this is a VHS tape. A VHS tape for the Generation Z people out there, all you youngins out there. Yes, I own a VHS tape. It's crazy. You have to rewind this thing. But this is a great movie. It's called Endurance. It's about Haile Geber Selassie and his story. And he used to have the 10K world record, I think the 5K world record, and the marathon world record. Now he does not. Kipchoge now has them in the which he just ran in these shoes. But anyway, I love good movie. If you, if you're a runner, you got to watch this movie. So last week I ran a 5K time trial. It went well. Ran 16:17. Again, I have done zero speed training all well for a long time. I've just been running up in the mountains all summer doing ultra races. But I'm intrigued to continue to get faster and try to run fast. So these shoes are going to be part of that formula for the rest of 2018. And yes, probably moving into 2019 running plans, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to put these on. Oh, and by the way, this is what the uh, unboxing looked like yesterday. It was a fun unboxing. It was a fun unboxing. All right, time to put these on and go run a 10K as fast as I can. We'll see how it goes. I don't know what it's going to... I'm just going to run. I'm going to run as fast as I can in these guys. But I will be, yes, carrying the GoPro 7 with me. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be cool. All right, let's go. I mentioned this yesterday that I'm trying to get used to the fly knit upper. I like it a lot. It feels good, but tying the shoe is just a little different because the tongue of the shoe is basically uh, completely different from any other shoe I've ever worn. So I got to tighten my right shoe. Oh man, okay, good warm up. I feel good. I'm gonna do a little more stretching and then get her done, get going. Basically, the 5K last week was on a dirt track, ran 16, 17. I feel pretty good about that. Today in the 10K, I'm gonna, it's on, it's gonna be all on concrete. These shoes are made for road races and concrete, so I'm not gonna do it on a track, uh, the time trial. And basically, I am going to go out hard and then hold on. I wanna see what I can do. And again, no speed training in 2018. I'm just doing this off of, uh, of, of strength because I've been running a lot in the mountains here in Colorado. So thanks for connecting. Oh, let's connect on Strava, by the way. And a shout out to all you guys that are new who have subscribed. And if you have not subscribed, this channel is, it's not a, it's a daily vlog channel. It's not a running gear channel or running shoe channel. What I like to do is take running shoes and running gear and integrate them into my daily life. So this is not like a straight up gear review channel. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more running shoe uh, reviews that are integrated into real world living and reality. Does that make sense? All right, I gotta get going. Love you guys. Let's connect on Strava. You can see my mile splits there. The link is down below. Approximately. See you at three.
excited to race a road half marathon or marathon in 2019. Yes, yes I am. 33 flat for 6.2 miles. Uh, no speed training, just a time trial. Oh, in the Nike Zoom Vaporfly 4% fly knit shoes. They felt good. I'll give you a full thought once I catch my breath. up in downtown Denver so now I got to get back home got to get the train back at the house back at the house pretty cool pretty cool I'm pretty excited all right I'm not gonna give you my thoughts yet on the effort nor the shoes yet I got to go work and then volunteer at an event, and then I'll be back in like eight or nine hours, and I'll give you my thoughts. So stay tuned, they're coming up. Um, and the planter, by the way, did not hurt that bad. Uh, it fe I can feel it, but it's not like killing me right now, so that's a bonus, that's a bonus. All right, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. All right, the Nike Vaporfly 4% review after, after that 10 to that 10K effort is coming up. Stay tuned. After that. <laughs> as we drop, oh yeah, you did see them. As we drop water bottles, we're off to Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, and uh, there's gonna be good food and good games. But stay tuned. Again, it's coming. It's coming real quick. Hi, Claire. Hi, Claire. Is everything you had for the race? Different. Wow. New camera. Yeah. That's awesome. Doing your job. <laughs> <laughs> Got her! Got her! Got her! It's gonna be one of mine. Double fist <laughs> We survived! We survived! Oktoberfest is crazy! Oktoberfest was exciting, to put it lightly. Basically, probably about 4 o'clock, a wind kicked up, and the temperatures went from the 70s down into the 50s, and now it's in the 40s, hence the puffy jacket. It's go, oh, it's coming folks, winter is coming, but before it comes, we've gotta keep running fast, right? And the uh, Nike Vaporfly 4% may have helped me run fast today. According to Strava, my official time was 32 minutes and 59 seconds. Not bad for a 10K with no speed training. I, I, I know I keep saying that all day long, but it's a, I can't tell you how important speed training and interval interval training is. You know, 800 repeats or 1K repeats or 400 meter repeats on a track or on a cross country course marked off. It's just, it makes you go faster. So, I am excited. I do think that this shoe, the foam, I think the foam in this shoe will not last very long. Uh, basically, if you get more than like 100 really quality miles out of this shoe. I bet the return on energy, that 4% that they claim, is going to start to diminish. So I'm gonna actually not store these shoes out here in the cold. I think that impacts the foam. I'm gonna keep them inside under my bed where it's warmer because I don't want, I want, I want this foam to just be, um, I want it to last as long as possible. That's a tip of the day. And so I'm reading an article that I found, uh, and basically, I guess they've analyzed about 500,000 marathon running times, and supposedly, according to some Strava data, and if you want to connect on Strava, again, it's down below, um, basically, it found that runners in the Vaporflies, the shoe that I ran in today, 
did see like a three to four percent faster than similar runners wearing other shoes. This is according to this article. Is that data accurate? I don't know, but supposedly they found this data from the Strava app. I don't know guys, I felt good today. And so last week running 1617 for a 5K time trial on a dirt track, and this week running on concrete in these shoes running 3259, like that's pretty good pacing. And actually I forgot to mention this, Today, I ran 1601 through the 5K. So that's kind of nice to go faster than last week. That was my goal was to go faster than last week. And so if you're a runner who really takes racing seriously, you may want to look into this and give it a test run. Actually, you probably cannot give it a test run because running shoe stores are not letting you take it on a treadmill or outside the store for a little test run. You know how you can usually do that? They're not letting you do that because eh, it is expensive, but they, do, they, they don't want to damage the shoe because there is supposedly so much mm, technology built into it. I could feel the heel, this point at the back. It felt, you know, just a little strange. That's like my probably my biggest critique at this point is this heel at the back. Uh, I just got to get over that. I don't know. I got to get used to it. I, it's not an issue, I don't think. It's just different. So keep that in mind. The fly knit upper was epic. Uh, it's definitely very uh, flat on the bottom, like there's no grip. And so if it's like a wet surface on pavement, be careful because there's really no grip on this thing. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I will say that. I, you know, to be able to run 32 minutes. Uh, in 59 seconds as a 33-year-old, basically 33 minutes flat for as a 33-year-old. I feel good about that. So therefore, folks, I strongly recommend it. And I've only done, you know, nine miles now in it. So give me a little more time for a full review, but I'm excited. Thanks for being here. If you're new, welcome. This is a daily vlog channel with a lot of running mixed in. Does that make sense? So if you like that type of stuff, hit the subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. Let's do this and let's run fast. Shall we? Shall we? Oh, 2019 marathon. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other.